Are you sick and tired of posting on Facebook and getting two likes and one comment? It's completely soul destroying spending all that time thinking of a post, writing the content and creating some graphical masterpiece on Canva to then realize half your engagement is your mum. Well, I'm gonna show you exactly how to increase likes, comments and shares with genuine potential customers interested in your business, including my favorite method at the end of this video. So stay tuned. The main reason your posts are not getting engagement is because they're simply just not being seen. Facebook are putting them all into a box at the back of the shelf and making it hard to see. The current average reach for an organic Facebook post is 2.2%, but could be as low as 1.1% for some brand pages. To put this into perspective, if you have a Facebook page with 1500 followers, your post may only be shown to as few as 33 people. This is the reason why Facebook is a billion pound company, and you can see why with stats like this. Now you don't have to spend a lot of money boosting your post, you can do this with as little as $5 per post, as long as you target the right audience. You also benefit from repeated interaction. A user from a boosted post engages with your post, then they are a lot more likely to see future posts also. The other big advantage of boosting your content is it looks great to potential customers. Busy posts show people that a product or service is worth looking at. When it comes to engaging a user, nothing comes close than video content. Here are a few handy tips to use while creating videos for your Facebook business page. Upload videos directly on Facebook. Facebook's algorithm prefers native videos that are posted on their platform. On average, your engagement rate will increase by 110% compared to sharing videos. Experiment with square videos. Square videos are easy to watch and more popular as well. They normally receive higher engagement, average views and completion rates than any other video type. Add captions. 85% of Facebook videos are watched with sound off and 39% of consumers are more likely to finish a video with subtitles. Sometimes the key to increasing Facebook engagement is to look into the past. Let's say you have a post that knocks it out of the park. Tons of likes and shares and plenty of love in the comment section. Rather than treat this post as a one-off, you should instead take the steps to recreate this same social magic again. Maybe it was an unexpected picture, perhaps it was an epic case study. Either way, you should pay close attention to your top performing content and aim to replicate this. To better break down that activity, take a close look at your Facebook analytics and see firsthand what's receiving the most reach. Improving your Facebook page's engagement isn't a one and done affair. If someone takes the time to comment on your content, you should return the favour yourself. Let's have it said, no one likes to send a text message and be annoyed now, do they? People want to interact with brands, which is the reason why so many businesses that reply to comments gain more interactions. People these days expect a social response within four hours of commenting. Timely responses are a must. Replying to comments on your post is not only a great way to signal engagement to Facebook, but also keeps your users happy. Happy people equals potential customers after all. If nothing else, taking the time to reply to people shows you're good at listening to them. This is a good look from a brand perspective and also encourages more interaction amongst the rest of the people on your page. If you don't have time to respond to every single message, you can create a Facebook chatbot to do so for you. Facebook loves content and the more you can give it, the more it will give you back in the way of visibility and engagement. It's important like any social media platform that you have consistency when posting and have a schedule to do so. Ideally, minimum of a three a week. Ensuring the quality of the content is always at its highest. If you cannot keep up with the quality, then reduce the amount of post. Quality over quantity will always win the battle. People are a lot more likely to engage when they are being asked a question. Asking simple questions like, what do you prefer between Disney or Pixar films, makes it easy for people to answer without having to think about it too hard. If you can though, try and make the topic related to your business. For example, if you run a clothing business, you could ask which outfit do you prefer between these two pictures. 
Making your questions funny or relevant to current trending subjects can boost your engagement even further. As Facebook continues its crackdown on clickbaits with regular changes to their algorithm, companies are forced to rethink how they earn engagement on their posts. For example, adding to your post saying, please like or share this post is engagement bait and Facebook algorithm will penalize you for pushing out this kind of post. On average, people spend three times more watching a Facebook Live video than regular videos and are 10 times more likely to comment. With this in mind, it's worth knowing that when it comes to Facebook videos, live videos perform better, have potential to reach more people and increase your Facebook engagement rate. That's because when you go live, your video shoots to the top of the followers newsfeed. Also, people regularly interact with your page or recently done so, get a notification letting them know you've gone live. Even better, after the live broadcast is over, the video appears on your Facebook business page. From there, you can continue promoting it on your site, share it on other social media platforms, or share snippets of it on your page. Here are some great tips of going live on Facebook. Have a Q&A session, or ask me anything session. Share an event. Interview industry experts or share educational content or how-to tips. Facebook want people to stay on their platform and don't like it when you try to send them to another website. You can't blame them. We want our website visitors to stay on our website too. When creating a post, instead of linking to an article or sharing a YouTube video, simply upload these directly to Facebook to keep them on their platform. They will reward you for doing this with more visibility and engagement. This is the biggest mistake I see people make when creating posts. Although you can sell to your audience, it should never be your sole objective. It should be subconscious selling, so potential customers don't realize they're being sold to. Let's have it said, there's nothing worse than going into a car showroom and a salesman running straight over to you. You have to remember your audience is the same as you and haven't even come into the showroom. They are only walking past. A great example of social selling is taking a picture of your dog next to your product with the caption, we love bringing our furry friends into the office. Everyone loves a cute dog. It just so happens that your product's in the shop. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe to stay tuned for future videos. Make sure you check out one of my other videos here also.